This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. In Israel, and stop by the studios here of Kolbarama, and um, the the fall. And here's Rabbi Gladstein to say hello. Good vach. Good vach, Rabbi Yitzchak. What an honor to meet you personally. Shalom aleichem. And to be at the Kolbarama studios. I know you give me many honorable venues speaking on uh, Lakewood Radio, but this is uh, the crescendo. This is really the greatest treat to meet you in the Ir HaKodesh, in the Ir HaAtika, to see you personally, to be here at the studios. You mentioned many... That's Har HaZesim, though. We're, lo- we're overlooking Har HaZesim, or we're, we're har overlooking bias. Har HaBayis. We're in the holiest Bein Kesefav Shachin. This week, we said over in Parshas Truma, how the Mishkan is basically a return to Gan Eden. Many of the important items of the Mishkan came from Gan Eden. The Pasuk says in Vayakel, the Nesiyim brought the Avnei Shayam, the Avnei Miluim, the Shemen HaMishcha, and Targum Yonis HaMenuziel says they came from Gan Eden because the Mishkan is a restoration of Gan Eden. Amazingly, in Gan Eden it says Vayashken. Vayashken, it's a Mishkan. And if you look in Targum Yonis HaMenuziel in Bereshis, Vayashken mi kedem l'gan Eden es hakruvim, says Targum Yonis HaMenuziel, Hashem rested His presence in Gan Eden on the two kruvim. Not like Rashi says that the kruvim were malachi chavola, angels of destruction. No, Targum Yonis HaMenuziel says Hashem rested His presence originally in Gan Eden on the kruvim. Adam Rishon chased out the Shechina. So the Mishkan was an attempt to restore the way things were in Gan Eden. That's how I feel over here. We're, we're near the Makam HaMikdash, and in your studios, I feel... It is Gan Eden. It is Gan Eden. Wow, what an opportunity. And uh, I'm so glad you're going to be joining us. Yes, I'm your session. For our trip on Monday, we're going to be visiting Makam HaSakadoshim, but we already started our trip. My first stop off the airplane, of course, for those who have been listening to the Shurim, one of my favorites was Maran Ga'oin Uzenu. Chaim Yosef David Azulai. That was my first stop. The Chida. And then we went to visit the Ben Lo Ashri, the Tzaddik of Ranana. Did you visit my Rebbe who's right behind the Chida, Reb Simcha Wasserman? I didn't, know he, I didn't know he was there. Yes. Interesting story about how he got there. Um, Rabbi Lawrence is buried right yes. next to him. Yes. Did, did you know the story about yes. that? Yes. Do you want to? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the following is going to be about. The, uh, your trip to Haramanuchos. Haramanuchos, okay. We're playing that right now, so this is a, this could be an introduction, please. Okay, so um, amazingly, when Kairesh meets Nehemia, Nehemia was downtrodden, and the king was very upset. He said, why, why do you look sad? You're in my presence, in the presence of the king, you have to exude Simcha. And Nehemia said, because my city, Yerushalayim, lay in ruins. But listen to how he describes Yerushalayim. He says, the city of the burial of my ancestors lay in ruins. That means Nehemiah is articulating that the part of the Kedusha Yushalayim is the fact that there's so many tzaddikim buried here. Whether it's Har Hazesim, you go to Har Hazesim, it's, it's Gedolim starting from Nevi'im, Zechariah Hanavi, Chagai, Zechariah Malachi, all the way up to... The altar of Slabodka and Rabbi Shua Leib Diskin and uh, Rabbi Hutner and... Rabbi Vigdor Miller. Rabbi Vigdor Miller. And my own grandfather of blessed memory passed away this year. Rabbi Mordechai Leib Gladstein, he passed away at 106. He was a Talmud Muvak of Rabbi Nachem Zemba. We just went to Rabbi Nachem Zemba on, on Har Menuchas. Can I say the story of... Please. Rabbi Nachem Zemba had two nephews, um, Avram Zemba and Itchemeyer Zemba. And Itchemeyer Zemba was my grandfather's best and dearest friend. They were together in all the dark places. They were together in Auschwitz in one particular Yom Kippur. My grandfather was deathly ill. He had typhus and he had nothing to eat and he had one little roll and he was mechuyiv to eat. He had to eat. It was pikuach nefashas. But how could a yid bring himself to eat on Yom Kippur? But, but he's not al- but, he, but he has to eat. But he, he didn't know what to do. He said, I'm not going to eat Yom Kippur. But he couldn't trust himself holding on to the bread on Yom Kippur. But who could he trust? You know, in, in the camps, I don't know if I could say this publicly, but put it this way, even great people had no choice but to steal other people's bread, even, even great tzaddikim. So who could you trust with a piece of bread in Auschwitz? 
but my grandfather gave it to his dearest friend, Avram Chazemba. He says, guard it from me that I don't eat it on Yom Kippur. And of course you can. You don't, you don't take it from me. Avram Chazemba guarded it the whole Yom Kippur. When Yom Kippur was over, his dear friend gave it back to him. But his friend had nothing to break the tainus on. So my grandfather shared the bread with him. That was the greatest illustration of friendship since David and Yoinasan, my grandfather said. So we discovered the Kavar Avram Chazemba right next to Avram Zemba, about one or two rows in front toward the left. And I looked at the Kavar of, of Avram Chazemba, and it said he passed away on Tez Zayin Nisan, Tavshin Lam and Aleph. Um, and exactly, now my grandfather passed away Tesvav Nisan Tavshin Pei Aleph They were both buried Yud Ches Nisan 50 years apart to the day mm. So here these two tzaddikim were together in the darkest of places but their kvura was on the exact same date 50 years apart wow. And uh, what is Chus to be here? Let me ask you as no Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I can ask you a question? Sure. Living in the holy city in the world, being Marbitz Torah through this venue, how does that feel to you? Great. <laughs> it's all a miracle. All, all, all of this existence is a, is a miracle. And I see it all continuously. So I kind of live on that level. May Hashem be mevarich you to have many happy and healthy years here in the Ir HaKodesh, to be Marbitz Torah, L'Hag Dol Torah, L'Hag Amen. And, and now we'll, uh, pl we'll play some of, your, some of your clips from Har Menuchos. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Kol Tov. Shavuot Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.